Join us on a journey through all aspects of the Japanese Studies course with the teachers and students that make up this diverse and exciting department. I mean, studying Japanese at Cambridge is one of the most challenging things I've ever had to do in my life. I'm really glad I made that choice in my life, you know? When I was 17, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. All I knew is that I wanted to grow, I wanted to come out of Cambridge a different person than when I went in. By the time you leave, I think you'd be pretty damn sure that, <laughs> you know, you did made the right choice. You will never get bored because you do something different every day. It's a language class, a listening class, a speaking class, and then you've got history of China, Japan, and Korea. And you always talk about different aspects. Secondly, the teachers, amazing. They love their subject, and it's just, their enthusiasm is contagious. Hi, um, so my name is Vicky Young. I am uh, the Kawashima Lecturer in Japanese Literature and Culture at the Faculty of Asian and Middle Eastern Studies uh, in Cambridge. Um, it means I teach modern and contemporary Japanese literature and cinema here. Um, I'm also uh, a Fellow and Director of Studies at Selwyn College, um, but I was also an undergraduate in this department um, when I studied here a long time ago as a student at Trinity Hall. Hi, hello, good morning. My name is Laura Moretti and I'm a senior lecturer in Japanese pre-modern studies here at Cambridge. I'm also director of studies at Emmanuel College. So I teach Japanese literature and I focus on uh, pre-modern and early modern literature, so before uh, the mid of the 19th century. I also teach a lot of modern Japanese, which is great fun. We read great texts from modern contemporary literature. Um, but I also teach classical Japanese and we also read fun texts from uh, all sorts of centuries. So, hello, my name is uh, Miki Adolfsson. I am um, I'm a professor of Japanese studies. My area of expertise is medieval Japan, uh, which is way back in time. Um, I'm actually Swedish. I grew up in a very historical city in Sweden and was interested in history from a very young age. I began by studying medieval Europe and then I thought I wanted something that was more exciting and I kind of stumbled upon Japanese history because of the kind of samurai films that I watched at the time, this is many many years ago. And the moment I set foot in Japan, um, again a few years ago, I was hooked. That was it. I knew I was going to do something with Japan. So. Here at Cambridge we offer a very rigorous and exciting program in Japanese studies. By the end of your degree you will be really fluent in Japanese, uh, in your speaking, reading, writing and listening. It would be phenomenal the level of Japanese you get. We also uh, train you in depth in a number of fields within Japanese studies and here at Cambridge we cover literature, history, social anthropology and international politics.